There's also different types of uh, arthritis. There's uh, rheumatoid arthritis, and mm -hmm. we hear a lot of gout. Yeah. So let's first start with gout, and uh, how do you treat gout? You hear sure. a lot. Sure. So the treatments for all arthritis really are quite different. When you're talking about just general arthritis, we're talking about more about pain control. Gout in itself is completely different. Gout is an actual illness that is because you have too much uric acid in your body. So the way we control it is actually by using agents to decrease the amount of uric acid that people have. Gout is an easy one actually to diagnose. Um, what you might notice in your first gout attack is that you have pain in your toe. And what they actually say is the most um, easy physical exam uh, finding to do is you rub a sheet along the toe and if there's pain, just like barely touching, usually it's gout. Mm -hmm. So usually gout kind of affects the first uh, toe. Sometimes it can go to the knee as well, but gout kind of has a, a pattern and it's different. It's treated differently. It's treated with agents to lower uric acid. And are there side effects when you take medications commonly for this? Sure, so less we see with uh, gout medications, but definitely for you know just general arthritis, yeah, if, if you're taking chronic uh, over-the-counter medications like anti-inflammatory medications like Advil, Aleve, Motrin, you can cause kidney failure over time. If you take too much Tylenol, which a lot of people take a lot of extra strength Tylenol, you can cause liver damage. Mm -hmm. So yeah, these medications, though they help the pain, over time they can also cause uh, health problems as well. Doctor, let's shift gears now to a more severe arthritis, which is rheumatoid arthritis. Yeah. So what exactly it is, you know, what does the patient feel and how do you treat it? Yeah. Lots, lots of questions there, sorry. The, the, no, <laughs> don't worry. The, the first thing is rheumatoid arthritis, uh, you have to be diagnosed with it and it's probably underdiagnosed because a lot of times people just start initially with symptoms uh, that maybe they're having pain in their joints. The most common symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis is that you have pain in your hands. Most people have arthritis in their hands, but rheumatoid arthritis is really quite a different degree of arthritis. There's a lot of chronic problems. Uh, you can get heart disease from it. You can get lung problems. Um, you have just inflammation in the entire body. So the agents we have to use, we have to actually suppress your immune system, then you're at risk for illnesses. Uh, it's it's an extremely severe condition.